Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Uh, in this series of Living Supernaturally, we are doing, uh, we're taking a look at some of the questions that people asked the Lord Jesus. Now, in studying these questions and also looking at the responses or the answers that the Lord gave in response to these questions, there's a lot that we can learn and there's a lot that we can apply in our own lives. Now, questions are quite interesting, they're powerful. They increase learning and it fuels innovation and, and brings us to a place of understanding, exchange of ideas and so on, right? But um, uh, the kind of questions that people asked the Lord Jesus and the response that He gave them really increases uh, our learning and they're very interesting as well. So let's look at one of the questions that, uh, uh, that was asked uh, to the Lord. Okay, we see this in Matthew chapter 18. Uh, verses 21 and 22, Matthew chapter 18, verse 21. Then Peter came to him and said, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Up to seven times. Now this was uh, Peter asking him, asking the Lord Jesus about how many times, what is the frequency uh, with which he should forgive his brother? If someone should do something wrong against him, how many times? And so he asked the Lord, you know, he says, is, is seven times okay? And in verse 22, we see the answer from the Lord. The Lord said to him, I do not say to you up to seven times, but up to 70 times seven. Up to 70 times seven. So we see something here, you know, when it comes to the frequency, we can't, a frequency of forgiveness, what the Lord was saying was, you know, don't keep track or don't keep count. If a person is truly repentant and it's asking for forgiveness, so you go ahead and forgive, right? So in other words, he's saying, do not keep track. Uh, it's not just seven times, it's 70 times seven. In Matthew chapter 6 and verse 12, we are... Uh, instructed and this is again on the lines of uh, forgiveness that we are um, you know we are we see something here about forgiveness we see uh, in Ma Matthew 6 and verse 12 and uh, this is the prayer which the Lord taught his disciples and it says here and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors right forgive us our debts or forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those uh, who trespass against us or as we forgive our debtors. So we see something important here. We see that our forgiveness is linked to our extending forgiveness to others or um, our forgiveness is linked to us forgiving others. And that's how the Lord, Lord taught, taught us um, that our forgiveness is linked to us forgiving others. And the third thing we see in Ephesians 4 verse 32 is, is this. It's the nature or the standard of forgiveness. Verse 32, Ephesians 4. And be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. Right? Tender-hearted, forgiving, even as God in Christ forgave you. So we see here the standard of forgiveness, which is how God in Christ forgave us. Obviously, it's talking about the cross and the kind of forgiveness that we have all received because of the cross and the standard of forgiveness, which is God in Christ forgiving us. And that is something that we are called to extend to others as well. So on this subject of forgiveness to the question that Peter asked, the, the Lord talks about the fact that we should not really keep track or keep count. Another uh, place in scripture we see um, about forgiveness that our forgiveness, our forgiveness is linked to us forgiving others. And uh, we also see that uh, the, uh, the quality of forgiveness or a standard of forgiveness is the Lord himself, how he, how he forgave us, right? So may we experience forgiveness from the Lord and even as we have experienced forgiveness from the Lord, may we extend the same kind of forgiveness to others. Let's pray. Father, we thank you, Lord. Um, we thank you because you're the example, the, 
uh, standard for forgiveness. And Lord, we have experienced your mercy. We have experienced your forgiveness, God. And in the same way, Lord, you are expecting us to forgive others. And Lord, your word says that if we are willing, then you are able. You give us the ability. And so, Lord, we want to take that step of faith and say, yes, Lord, empower us, fill us with your spirit and enable us to forgive others the way you have forgiven us. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.